Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's one more word problem for you. Alice has 250 milliliters of soda and one liter of water. What is the ratio of the volume of soda to the volume of water that Alice has? All right, let's put that on a model first. So Alice has got 250 milliliters of soda. So if this is the model, say for soda, okay, so this is soda, then this is equal to 250 milliliters. Okay, this is the volume of soda that Alice has got. And let's also fill in some color. Let's say brown for soda. Okay, and she has one liter of water. Now, one liter is definitely more than 250 ml. So, one liter would be maybe, let's say, this much. Okay, let's say this much. So, this is one liter of water. Okay, so this is one liter of water. We learned that, that these are both units of volume liter as well as milliliter and one liter is definitely more than 250 milliliter. Anyway, so what we've got now is 250 milliliter of soda and one liter of water. Now what we have to find out is the ratio of the volume of soda to the volume of water. Well, Alice has got 250 milliliters of soda and she's got one liter of water. So you might want to put this as 250 milliliters of soda to one liter of water. So the ratio becomes 250 to one. Well, at first sight, this looks right, but this would actually mean that she has got 250 times as much soda as water. Is that correct? Well, that's not correct because the amount of soda that she's got is actually smaller than the amount of water that she's got. So how can she have 250 times as much soda as water? Well, what have we done wrong? If you are to compare two volumes, if you are to compare the quantities, if you are to find out the ratio of the volume of soda to the volume of water, you must make sure that you have the same unit for both these liquids. Okay, so if the soda is in milliliters, then the water must also be in milliliters or they must both be in liters. So either you convert the soda to liters or you convert the water to milliliters. So before you can compare these two, the soda and the water, you must make sure that they're both in the same unit okay so this guy over here is definitely wrong there is not 250 times as much soda as water that alice has got well then what has alice got let's see well, since she's got one liter of water how much is one liter in milliliters well one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters so what we're going to do here is compare these two liquids that she's got soda and water in milliliters okay so if she has 250 milliliters of soda then she has 1000 milliliters of water so the ratio of soda to water that she's actually got is 250 to 1000 now, since these are so big numbers, these two are big numbers, 250 and 1000, it takes a while for my mind to figure out actually how much soda she has got compared to water, how much water she's got compared to soda. So how about I simplify these two terms? So the zero here and the zero here, they get cancelled off. Then what I have left is 25 and 100. Now, if I divide each of these terms by 25, this also by 25 and this also by 25, then what I get is I get one here and I get four here because 25 goes into 100 four times. So my new ratio is one to four. So this one to four tells me that the amount of soda and the amount of water that Alice has got is one part to four parts, which means that if she's got one part of soda, then she has got four times as much water. Okay. So if this brown guy over here is considered as one part or one unit, then the amount of water that she's got is four times as much, which means there are four such brown units that can fit into this one big blue block of water. Okay. So one, two, three, and four. So the relation or the ratio of the volume of soda to the volume of water that Alice has is one to four. As simple as that. It's not 250 to one. It's actually one to four. So when you are given two different units to compare, okay, if you have to find the ratio between two things which are given to you in two different units, 
like milliliters or liter here or like you know in some cases grams and kilograms or kilometers and meters in the first job the first thing that you must do is to convert the quantities or the things that are given to you in the same unit okay now you could have also converted this 250 milliliters to liters you could say that okay i want to keep the one liter as such and I want to change the milliliters to liters. So you could do that also. Well, uh, how much is 250 milliliters in liters? Well, it's actually equal to 0 0.250 liters, right? Because one liter is 1000 milliliters. So you simply divide this smaller unit by 1000 and what you will get is 0 0.250 liters or simply 0 0.25 liters. Then what is the ratio of soda to water? Well, soda is 0 0.25 and water is 1. So this tells you that the ratio of soda to water is 0 0.25 to 1. But if you want things to make more sense to you, then uh, what I would suggest you do is change this decimal to a whole number. Okay. So how do you change this decimal to a whole number? We'll simply multiply it by 4 because 0.25 times 4 is equal to 1 or 1.00. And you do likewise with the other term times 4. So what you get is 4 here. So this is essentially 1 to 4 and that's the same as this ratio over here so it doesn't matter whether you convert the units to milliliters or liters it's still the same the ratio of the two things that you have with you the soda and the water is still the same if you have one unit of soda then you have four units of water well that's it that brings us to the end of this word problem quite a simple one i hope you understood it and I hope that now you'll go check out some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Do go check out this website regularly because there are many, many cool features that we've added to this website. Well, this is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.